Ah, wow. Beautiful New York. Are you playing? Oh, we're playing. Great. Beautiful New York. We are at the Hearst Tower, thanks to Steve Swartz, who's the CEO here. His son plays lacrosse at Harvard, and he cares a lot about what we're doing with the Paul Rebel Foundation so much that he upgraded us this year to host our annual event here at the Hearst Tower, and we're backstage at the moment. Brett? been around. There's actually, it's actually not very exciting. We found the space to quickly intro what's going on tonight. It's our annual foundation event where we raise money and awareness around children with learning differences and how we can support them through two avenues. One is scholarships where we donate to our partner schools, uh, micro grants for families in need, and the second is we start lacrosse programs at those same partnered schools. And uh, We've done stuff with the Bill Belichick Foundation in Boston. We've worked with partner schools in DC, Virginia, Maryland, as well as New York. So it's, uh, it's a cause that's close to home. My mom is our executive director and uh, I'm talking a lot. Let's get just out turn there. this around and get out there. Right. So thank you to everyone who, who came and all of you for watching. Good evening, everyone. This is such a, a touching moment for me to be in New York City and be part of this evening once again. What Paul has done for children in schools and has used his platform uh, to put kids in a position to really enhance their education, enhance their experience from a sports standpoint. It is just uh, marvelous to see what he's done. I found out that our learning differences can often be our gift in the long run uh, because it shapes the way that we think at an early age. It instills the, the habit of repetition and intellectual curiosity to improve. You question uh, some of the rigid standards in life uh, that, that have kind of thrown on us through culture and society. And so you develop this, this really, um, I think, acclimating and agile brain. In 2011, we sat with our uh, Hall of Fame honoree today. And uh, it was at a corner table in Sammy's Trattoria in Baltimore, Maryland. And my mom and I sat with her and we proposed the idea of starting a lacrosse program at the lab school. Her face lit up because from her experience working with other schools, lacrosse was the perfect sport for children with learning differences because there was an element of you know, learning to pick up a ground ball, it being okay if you miss a pass, you can try again, you can take a shot if you miss, you can run it out of bounds. Um, it, there, there's a personal element to creating your own stick and matching the equipment, stringing your own head. Catherine Chance, who I'd like to come up here and join me and just say a couple of words. And I think it's so wonderful what you're doing you're in your generation, along with Paul, and really um, recognizing sports that they're not just good in and of themselves, but that for many of the students, particularly the students that we work with, who know full well that they don't read well and that other people are reading very well, but that when they get into a sport, and a sport can lift their spirits and lift their self-esteem, and that's what this foundation is really doing. And I think it's um, really important to recognize that all that time you spent in sports has so much power in who you are and the character that you have and who you and how you believe in yourself. And I really, I thank you all for being here tonight. It's just a wonderful honor and it's a wonderful, wonderful foundation. So thank you very much.